All right, guys, welcome to another Rural Vermonter video. Today we have an 06 Cummins versus an 07 LBZ Duramax. This is a pretty close comparison because this Cummins has 224,000 miles. This Duramax is 240,000 miles. So these are both about a quarter million of miles. They've both been well used. They've both lived in Vermont their whole lives, or at least the Northeast. This, this truck was in New York a little bit. Um, so we can put them to the test. Let's start out with some statistics. This is a 5.9 Cummins turbo diesel with a six speed manual transmission. And like I said, 223K on the clock. The Cummins has 325 horsepower, 610 foot pounds of torque, and can tow, or is rated to tow, 16,150 pounds. That's pretty impressive for a 2006 truck. Now let's look at this Duramax, the 07 Duramax with the automatic Allison 1000 transmission. This is a six speed automatic transmission. This truck has 240,000 miles. Still running and driving great. So let's go over the specs of the Duramax. Uh, this engine has 650 foot pounds of torque, 360 horsepower, and is rated to tow 16,700 pounds. So it's just a little bit more powerful than the Cummins. Uh, it is also one year newer, but that's a real close, a real close uh, lineup there. So the first test I want to perform is the sound test because people, a lot of people buy diesels for the way they sound. Uh, I'm going to start with the Cummins. Just rev her up and listen to that exhaust note. Pretty healthy burble from the Cummins. Now let's go on to the Duramax. So the Duramax has been side piped, but I hit a snowbank and the side pipe is a little bit wonky now, as you can see. Okay, I think she's warm now. Damn thing so powerful, she just blew the side pipe right off. Look at that. That was kind of funny. Um, anyway, in my personal opinion, and I've owned both of these trucks for a couple of months now, I've been driving them all over the place. In my opinion, the 6.6 .6 LBZ Duramax is the far better sounding truck. The V8's just got that deeper grumble, it sounds a little bit smoother than the straight six. Uh, and you can hear that turbo whistle. I just think the, uh, the 6.6 .6 is the better sounding engine. So the next category I want to talk about after the exhaust sound is styling. And in my opinion, the Dodge Cummins has the much better styling. First reason is because it looks a lot newer than it is, I think. I mean, if I bring this to my friends who know nothing about trucks, they're not going to say, oh, I think it's a 2006. They're going to think it's a 2012, maybe even a 2013. But uh, it does, it looks newer than it is. And it, it looks pretty good too. I think uh, I think it has an aggressive style. I like I like the ride height, how it's a little bit higher than the Duramax. Not to say that I don't like the Duramax. I just think this one has a a little bit more of an aggressive look and definitely looks more modern than the Dodge. Sorry, I mean than the Chevy. And see, here's what I mean about the the Cummins looking newer. The Duramax. If I pulled this up to my friends or something. They wouldn't think that it's a 2012. They would probably guess it's 2005 or something, which makes sense because this design came out in 03, but it just doesn't quite have that new look as the Cummins. This is probably one of the most iconic looking trucks out of the 2000s, the cat-eyed Chevy. I love them, but I just, I happen to think the Cummins is the winner of the styling competition. You can feel free to argue with that in the comments. Now we're going to take them for the road test. So this will test out comfort and acceleration, power, pretty much everything. We'll start with the Cummins. So we're going to take the Cummins for a spin. Let's go. Got to hold down my camera. So we're 
on my pretty bumpy dirt road now. Whoa, and it's actually icy out, so it's a little slippery. If I press the gas, watch this, I'll do a drift. Okay, maybe not a drift, but at least I spun the tires. Plenty of power. Just so a lot of power, and the engine feels awesome on this thing. It's so much brute strength. So we just made it off the dirt road and onto the pavement with the Cummins. I'm gonna take it up onto the interstate and we'll see how loud it is up there and see if there's any any comfort problems on the interstate. All right guys, so we're getting on the interstate now. A lot of people use these trucks for long hauls, towing stuff on the interstate so we can test out the comfort, the quietness level. This is 65 miles an hour. That is the speed limit in Vermont. Uh, the sound level is pretty quiet. The engine, you can definitely hear the engine, but it's muffled enough that it's not going to be loud droning for a long period of time. The steering wheel is good. Look, there's no shakes in it. We don't get any of that dodge uh, death wobble. RPMs are about 2,000 RPM at 65 miles an hour. It's just kind of high, but it's all right. It's a pretty comfortable cruiser. My, my biggest gripe about it is the seats because it doesn't have enough arch support for my back and uh, I've driven this truck to Boston and back twice and on both of those drives afterward I would have to lie down for about an hour because my back, my spine felt like I was about to leave my back. I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of these seats but uh, the Dodge itself cruises pretty comfortably at 65 miles an hour. Well that was the Dodge. Excellent truck. Now let's go test out the Chevy. All right, so we'll take the Duramax for a spin. Suspension-wise on the dirt road, the Duramax definitely wins suspension. Uh, it's not got a solid front axle. It's got independent front suspension, which is not as good for plowing or for heavy-duty stuff. But when you're just cruising down dirt roads or on the highway, independent front suspension is a lot, uh, a lot comfier and softens the ride quite a bit. So really, it depends. If you're going to use these trucks for plowing, uh, you might want to get a, a Dodge with, or a Ford with the, with the uh, solid front axle. But if you're going long haul distance, I would always get the, the Duramax with the independent front suspension. Okay, and here's 65 miles an hour for the Duramax. Um, yeah, it is. It's quieter in here. Another thing is the RPMs are lower. See, the RPMs are only at like 20. Whoa, look at all that dust. Holy mackerel, I can't see nothing. The RPMs are at like 1500 instead of 2000 at 65. So I've done a couple of these truck versus truck competitions before. Normally I do a zero to 60 test. However, both of these trucks have small issues that I need to address before I, you know, floor it to 60 miles an hour. So I'm not gonna do that quite yet. So after having owned both of these trucks for the last couple of months and driving them both around a thousand miles each, um, it's clear to me, and stay to the end of this, don't just don't just click off the video when I say this because there's more. It's clear to me that the Duramax is overall the better truck. So yes, this Duramax is more powerful, more capable, quieter, comfier, can tow more, uh, can seat more people even. But if I were to choose one to go home with at the end of the day, I think I would choose the Cummins. Just due to the manual transmission, the, the engine feel, it feels so powerful it's more raw than the than the duramax the duramax is kind of more refined and i actually like the rawness of the cummins better but also i think it looks better i'm a chevy guy at heart but i think the cummins looks better i think the chevy's a little more aged at the end of the day if i were to take one home i would take home the cummins